A few weeks ago, the South Dakota State men and women's basketball teams went dancing to the NCAA tournament. For the women, they have become familiar playing on the big stage every year they have become eligible. It's been great. Getting the four NCAA tournaments is really difficult to do, but our players have just put everything into making it happen. We've had a lot of talented young women from South Dakota, from Minnesota, have really committed themselves to be in the very best. And we've done it against some of the great teams here in the Midwest. So it's not like we've had an easy road. We've had to do it against great competition. But everybody's come together. They've put a lot of effort into it and really been a special four years. Junior Ashley Idy of the Jacks shares playing in the NCAA tournament is an opportunity she is not taking for granted. Playing in the NCAA tournament is kind of like a, like a dream. Um, you know, most people don't get the opportunity. So um, it's definitely very exciting and the atmosphere is um, definitely um, unlike anything else. Um, so it's just, you know, kind of the biggest stage in basketball. On the men's side, it was the Jacks' first NCAA tournament appearance after enduring three seasons where they won 10, 6, and 8 games respectively. Coach Scott Nagy gave a different approach in prepping the Jacks for their game against Baylor. Your typical speech of the David versus Goliath, but what I did is, is talk to him a little bit more about the specifics of that story because most people don't know about the specifics of that story. And so I went into it with the players and talked to them about how it came about and, and the fact that the, you know, the reason that David was able to defeat Goliath is number one, he was prepared. Uh, uh, because, uh, you know, as a shepherd, he had to kill lions, he had to kill bears, he had to take care of the sheep and protect them, and so he wasn't afraid of a man. Uh, number two, he was loved, you know, and I wanted to make sure that our players understood they, were, they had both those. They'd been prepared, they were, lo were loved, and I wanted them to go out and play relaxed. Junior Tony Feagan talked about how the Jacks got out to an early 19-7 lead over Baylor. started out hot. We knew we could play with them from the start, and uh, we did start out really hot. Our perimeter guys were knocking down some big shots. Um, obviously we did get out to that league and it kind of in a sense felt like when we played Washington out there and we got a good jump on them and um, we just kind of went cold for a while there in the first half and they, they capitalized. And the ID explains playing for the Jacks is special and an opportunity to represent the state of South Dakota. Playing for the Jacks is um, just kind of the sense of camaraderie that we have. Um, just, you know, we're like sisters and um, just to be able to play with your best friends every day and. Um, just kind of be with the state and, you know, kind of represent the state and um, have the community of people that we do surround us. The Jacks men's and women's basketball teams will look to get back to the NCAA tournament next year and will hope to continue to represent South Dakota nationally. For College Week, I'm Sam Tasted.